Hey everyone, I'm not sure how I feel about being this close. I feel quite exposed, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing better. I'm using the Maybelline Colour Tattoo as a base and blending it out and I'll leave all of the products in the description box. I'm using a light pink eyeshadow as the transition shade and bringing it higher than I normally would because that's how Gigi had it. I'm not saying this makeup will be a perfect copy but it's my take on it. I'm using a bobbi brown blush to add dimension to the eyeshadow and it's a lovely pinky burgundy shade I think is perfect for this look and I actually know the exact eyeshadows that she wore so I'll also leave those down below. I took a peachy orange eyeshadow to blend out the edges quite high up and this also softened the overall look. I then took more of a plum shade and ran it through my crease with all the eyeshadows I took them quite close into the inner corner to give it more of a grungy look because this is the look she went for. Her eyeshadow was very shimmery so I'm taking a light pink shade over my lid but focusing it in the centre. Moving on to foundation, I'm using the Rimmel Wake Me Up because her makeup was nice and dewy and this foundation gives a really natural glow to the skin. Her makeup artist said that he went for fresh glowy bronzy skin to have all of the attention on the eyeshadow. I'm removing any brush strokes with my beauty sponge and then going in with a cream bronzer because this just gives me more of a natural tan to the face. I'm concealing with a very light concealer for a highlighted appearance to the very centre parts of my face. I'm setting the concealer with a loose powder and I lost the next clip but all I did was set the cream bronzer with the Kiko Loud Nights bronzer. Gigi was wearing a pretty pink blush shade so I'm adding one that has a bit of shimmer in it to keep the face nice and glowy. Her eyebrows are lighter than mine so I'm taking a light brown brow powder to fill them in and she also has amazing messy eyebrows so I'm using a clear brow gel just to mask them up a bit and give them more of a fluffy natural appearance. Back to eyes I'm taking the burgundy shade under my lower lash line and I'm also lining my waterline and tight lining my eyes with a black pencil. Gigi didn't wear winged liner, the look was quite smoky but soft, so I used a black shadow to smoke out the black pencil. She also didn't wear any false eyelashes, so I'm just applying a couple of coats of mascara. Her skin was glowing as always, so I added lots of highlighter, probably too much, but can you have too much? I don't think so. She looked like she almost wasn't wearing anything at all on her lips so I just took a nude lipstick and over the top I put more of a pinky one because it had the tiniest amount of shimmer and finished this with some clear lip gloss. 
So this is my take on the look. I would describe it as a grungy but still soft burgundy smoky eye with fresh face makeup and glossy nude lips. I hope you enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching. But before I go, I'd like to give a quick mention to my friend Tom. This isn't a collab. He doesn't even have a YouTube channel. But yeah, I'll leave his Instagram link in the bio if you want to go and follow him because he's alright.